Thank you. Good morning, everyone. In fact, I have more than a few words. I have a long speech, so you'll have to put up with all of that. To all the remarkable guests here who have traveled from various parts of the world, uh, including esteemed representatives from the fields of science, technology, um, industry leaders, media colleagues, and other distinguished individuals, I extend a grand welcome to BioAsia 2023 in Hyderabad, the life sciences capital of Asia. It is an incredible moment and an equally exciting opportunity for me to be addressing you all in person after a long gap of two years. I take pride and joy in reminding all of you that this is the 20th edition of BioAsia. I humbly acknowledge the growth of BioAsia and I must say it has consistently played a crucial role in the development of life, life sciences industry in Telangana and India. This outstanding platform has consistently attracted a galaxy of healthcare, pharma and life sciences leaders from more than 100 countries. Distinguished guests, I'm happy to note that this year's theme is advancing for one, shaping the next generation of humanized healthcare. The COVID-19 pandemic has proved the value of collaboration and its impact on people's well-being. When the world came together to overcome one of the most challenging healthcare scares for humanity. Hence the theme for advancing, hence the theme, advancing for one to celebrate the spirit of collaboration and promoting human prosperity. The state of Telangana has been a front runner in identifying the importance of life sciences, pharmaceuticals, and of course, the development of holistic healthcare. With our vision to develop promote and propagate an enabling ecosystem, we are proud to state that Hyderabad is the only city in the country that has an ever-growing genome valley, an expanding medtech park, and an upcoming pharma city, which will be the world's largest pharma cluster. The state-of-the-art infrastructure, combined with progressive policies and proactive execution on the part of the government, has not only distinguished us as a progressive state, but also enhanced our share and contribution to positive health outcome nationally and globally. If you remember, we had set out a vision of doubling our ecosystem value to $100 billion by 2030. A lot of people felt it was too ambitious, but I'm pleased to announce today that the ecosystem value in Telangana, in Hyderabad, has already touched $80 billion only in 2022. This represents a phenomenal ecosystem value growth in Telangana at a mind-boggling 23% over the last few years compared to the national average of only 14%. Given the current momentum, I am confident that we will achieve our target of USD 100 billion by 2025 itself, five years ahead of schedule. I commend and thank all the stakeholders who have come together to make this happen. The growth is evident from the fact that we've been able to attract a slew of investments of more than $3 billion over the last seven years into life sciences. During the same period, we have created a total employment of more than 4.5 lakh or 450,000 new jobs. Our ultimate aim is to make Telangana the knowledge capital of the world's life sciences industry. A key component of this growth in the life sciences sector is continuous innovation. We already serve more than 1,000 life sciences companies globally, including the top 10 pharmaceutical companies in their innovation journey. This is being done through the cutting edge work being executed by research and development and technology partners like Aragen, Sai, Syngene, Deloitte, Accenture, Tech Mahindra, among many others. I'm delighted that four of the top 10 global innovator companies now have a direct presence in Hyderabad through their dedicated centers. These centers drive core research and development, digital and engineering activities, thereby contributing to bringing life-saving, cost-effective therapies and devices to patients worldwide. Today, we have established our stature as the world's preeminent life sciences destination, but I don't want us to stop here. One of my idols, Nelson Mandela, once said, no matter where you are in life, there is more journey ahead. 
we have a unique opportunity to help reshape the future of the life sciences industry. We need to dream big. I envision, therefore, that by 2020, the value of the life sciences ecosystem in Telangana will reach $250 billion. But to achieve this, to accomplish this, there are several things that need to be in place. The four pillars that will help us achieve this audacious target, in my humble opinion. One, complex manufacturing at scale. Telangana contributes to 40% of India's pharmaceutical production and is home to more than 1,000 life sciences companies and we are growing every day. We are the only region in the world to have more than 200 US FDA approved sites for pharmaceutical manufacturing which produce both innovator and generic medicines. Our capability will be further strengthened with the launch of Hyderabad Pharma City which is the world's largest and sustainable integrated pharma park. While we are continuing to build on our strengths in small molecules, we also have started to make giant leap towards advanced therapeutic med med uh, modalities. Hyderabad has been leading biological production in the country with its key players like Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, Biological E, Bharat Biotech, Shanta Biotech, Aurobindo, Hetero, Gland Pharma, and Virtual Biotech. We are now establishing a biopharma hub, a B hub, which is a first of its kind growth phase center and biopharma scale of manufacturing facility in India. We are also making investments in the cell and gene therapy space and we are working towards establishing an institute of curative medicine in Hyderabad with the aim to provide affordable development and commercialization of the new age curative therapies, particularly cell and gene therapy for disease pertinent to India. The second pillar would be research and development and innovation. Hyderabad is regarded as the epicenter for drug discovery and development services in Asia. The capital city of Telangana offers one of the best state-supported business ecosystems in the country with significant focus on life sciences. We have all the requisite elements of relatively low cost of doing business, more than 3 million square feet of multi-tenanted facilities in Genome Valley, abundant supply of skilled, semi-skilled think force, leading academic institutions and research centers. Thanks to such a fertile environment, Hyderabad has become home to some of the largest Indian and multinational pharmaceutical research service organizations offering services ranging from medicinal chemistry, discovery biology, preclinical, clinical drug development and clinical trial product manufacturing. Today, Almost every big pharma company and over a hundred biotech companies use these CRO services. And it is safe to say that a significant percentage of current and future NCE approvals originate in Hyderabad. As you can see, we are the most preferred R&D destination today. The third pillar, building high-end cross-value chain global capability centers. Hyderabad is emerging as the most preferred location for life sciences focused global capability centers. Today I'm delighted to welcome a leading company like BMS and Sanofi to the vibrant ecosystem of Hyderabad, which will now be joining the illustrious list of companies like Novartis, Bayer, Medtronic, Thermo Fisher, Schrodinger, etc. These GCCs, the global capability centers, drive and support key R&D, analytics, innovation and engineering teams globally. Over the next five years, we will position Hyderabad as a high-end GCC destination for the world's leading life sciences companies. These efforts will help expand our knowledge capital beyond manufacturing to other parts of the life sciences value chain. Outstanding infrastructure, great standard of living and access to world-class talent will help us deliver on this promise. The fourth pillar, convergence of healthcare and technology. I can't say this enough. Hyderabad is that city where biology meets technology, where life sciences meets data sciences. And technology, as we all know, has the ability, has the potential to work as a force multiplier, to change the way we think about healthcare, to change the way we think about life sciences and how it is going to evolve. The use of technology, and particularly the advent of artificial intelligence, will drive 
transformative changes in the way we, dis, uh, in the way we, in the way diseases are diagnosed and health healthcare is delivered to patients across the world. If we combine both engineering and product talent we have in large technology companies in Hyderabad, along with the deep life sciences domain knowledge, the possibilities are endless. I hereby announce that we will work on a program to position Hyderabad as the health tech mecca of the world. <clears throat> Through various incubator programs and access to deep computing resources, we will actively support startups that drive the convergence of healthcare and technology. I'm confident that we will have a few global health tech unicorns that will emerge out of this program. These four pillars, combined with Hyderabad's excellent infrastructure, logistics connectivity, and world-class talent, make this city perhaps the most credible, stable, and secure ecosystems for global life sciences companies to work out of, especially in the post-COVID world of uncertainty. Case in point is how, during the COVID pandemic, this city's ecosystem came together to deliver an absolutely uninterrupted supply of COVID and non-COVID medicines and vaccines to the entire world. Our ultimate vision through building these four pillars is to play a significant part in advancing the quality of human lives worldwide. And we can only do it if we bring both the spirit of collaboration and industry together. Hence, the theme of BioAsia for 2023, advancing for one, could not be more relevant. Dear guests, as I draw my address towards conclusion, I once again commend the participation and commitment of various life sciences and pharma stakeholders in this event. It has always been a privilege to be among you and participate in deliberations and discussions, interactive and enlightening sessions, are all directed and driven towards intensifying collaborations and working towards innovations in healthcare at scale. I'm sure this memorable 20th edition of BioAsia will open new opportunities for all of you. Where over the next three days, you will find ample opportunities to hear from global thought leaders. I'm certain that this event will also give you sp scope to expand your networks and script new professional and personal growth stories. I thank my team and all those who have made this event possible and successful, particularly Shakti Nagapan and his entire team. I wish you all a great and memorable stay in Hyderabad, Telangana, and I wish you an extremely successful BioAsia. Jai Telangana, Jai Hind. Thank you so much, sir, for spearheading the hallmarking of Hyderabad as a life sciences, the health tech mecca of the world. Thank you very much for that. Moving ahead, ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite...